Carverite STL import software. Tutorial number two, importing deep relief patterns. In your already open Carverite designer software, go to the file menu, select import, and then select import STL file. The STL import wizard will open and prompt you to choose an STL file. Browse to locate the desired STL file and click open. The file opens in the orientation window where it may be inspected and reoriented if needed. In this example, we are going to scale the model to a thickness of one and a half inches so that it may be sliced into exactly two three quarter inch slices. Select Next. In the slicing window, the model already shows the slice plane located at the default three quarter inch slice depth. This is what we intended, so select the cut icon on the right side of the window. We want to carefully inspect our slices to make sure that they will be suitable for carving, so click on the newly created slice in the Slices box located in the upper right corner of the window. In this instance, the slice has many separated and thin areas. This will be difficult to manage as a carved piece and will most likely not carve very well. We'll select the Undo button to reset the model back to its uncut state. Now this time we'll move the slicing plane forward to take a shallower cut using our eye to try and find the best place to slice. Once again, look to see if the slice looks reasonable as a carving. This slice has the same problem as seen in our previous slicing attempt and may even be worse. It looks like we need to take a deeper slice to make this a viable pattern. Select the back button to proceed. This time we'll set the thickness of the model to one and a quarter inches. A prompt appears telling us that we'll be reverting the model and losing any slices we previously set. Select Revert. Now back in the slicing window we see that the initial slice is taking a deeper cut of the model. Without changing the settings, select the cut button and again inspect the slice by selecting it in the slices window. A slice is indicated in the slicing window by a green outline and the remaining model is shown outlined in blue. This time we see that the first slice looks very reasonable as a carving. Now select the remaining model in the slices box and select the cut button to make it a slice as well. Note how it is now highlighted in green indicating that it is also a slice. We are now finished slicing. Select the next button to open the confirm import window where we will make the final checks of our slices. Make sure both slices are oriented correctly, facing forward with the green slice plane behind them. Also make sure that the full depth button is applied to the patterns, ensuring that they will seam together properly after carving. Name the file and select finish. Now back in the CarveWrite project designer software, create a new project. Set the board dimensions large enough to accommodate both slices that you just created. With the board displayed, open the pattern library by clicking on the blue shell. Then click on the favorites folder. Locate the newly created pattern folder and open it as well. Make sure to deselect the scale to fit board checkbox at the bottom of the box. This keeps the patterns from changing size to fit the board, which would cause them to not fit properly together after carving. Click on the icon of the first pattern and click on a board location to place it. Do the same for the second pattern you created and arrange it next to the first. Select the connected lines tool and draw an outline around the patterns. This doesn't need to be an exact outline, just keep it away from the edge of the patterns. Once you've created an outline, select the carve region icon and then select the pierce checkbox to set the depth to carve all the way through the board. Next, apply at least a 1 8 inch feather to the region. We are creating these regions to allow for easy removal of the carved pattern and to make carving much easier on the machine. Looking at our pattern here, we can see that this area is getting very thin and we will be in danger of breaking while carving. With the pattern selected, choose Bit Optimization and choose the best setting. Notice how the pattern changes to compensate for the taper of the bit. Repeat the bit optimization setting on the other pattern to ensure that they line up after being carved. 
Next, we want to set the location of the tabs used to hold the pattern in the board while carving. Use the Line Segment tool to draw these tab segments. Once you are done drawing the tab lines, select all of them and click the Make Tab icon. Choose the desired tab style and size and select OK. The tabs appear on the project and it is ready to carve.